there. How are you? I'm glad to see you. You too. Well, how civilized. Yeah, what could be more appropriate than <laughs> Sally Yates and high tea at the Watergate? <laughs> I was just at Mar-a-Lago with President Trump, and he was asked about the Mueller investigation, whether or not he was going to fire Rod Rosenstein mm -hmm. or others, and, mm -hmm. and he kind of dialed that down. That's good news if the president is backing off of what were the perceived threats to, to fire Rod Rosenstein, because while everybody understands how important it is, how essential it is really that Bob Mueller stay in place, it's really equally essential to the rule of law that Rod Rosenstein stay in place because you can have a profound impact on the Mueller investigation through the Deputy Attorney General. I've seen them trot out various reasons that I would actually call excuses to fire Rod Rosenstein, but there doesn't seem to be any substantive reason other than wanting someone in that position that the President could control. Do you have some specific thoughts about what's happened to the role between the Justice Department and the White House currently? It's gotten to where there's an almost daily assault, it seems, from the President to the Department of Justice. How many times has he reached in, whether it was in trying to get Jim Comey to drop the investigation of Mike Flynn, or constantly assaulting the Department of Justice with criticisms, you know, all sorts of other things that really just undermine the public's confidence in their own criminal justice system and their own Department of Justice. That's not how it's supposed to work. For the FBI to be able to do its work, it really has to rely upon people trusting and having confidence in the FBI agents that come knocking on their door to ask them questions. God forbid we have another national incident here. You know, we need for the people of this country to be able to trust the Bureau. Now, no organization's infallible, but trying to paint with a broad brush and declare the Department of Justice and the FBI corrupt is just beyond irresponsible. What are your thoughts on whether or not the president should be interviewed in the course of this investigation? You see, that's one of the things that's been sort of perplexing to me as I watch lots of folks on cable news debate whether if they were the president's lawyer, they would advise him to sit down with Bob Mueller. And they talk about it as if they were representing just some regular guy being like investigated for bank fraud or something. Uh -huh. This is the President of the United States, and this is an investigation about whether Russia interfered in our election, which we know they did interfere, but who they may have been working with here in the United States. He raised his hand and said he wanted to be President, asked us to trust him with that. Mm -hmm. And given the gravity of the questions that need to be answered, I don't understand how he would have the moral authority to continue as president, but yet refuse to answer those questions. Can you talk about Robert Mueller and your impressions of him? Yeah, Bob Mueller is just the right guy to be doing this. He is the quintessential, just the facts ma'am kind of guy. Tweets, I would imagine, are rolling off his back, um, and he's just gonna call it like he sees it. And that means if there are cases to be made, he's gonna make them, but I think equally importantly here, if there are not cases to be made, Bob Mueller is not the kind of guy who is going to feel the need to gin up a case to, to try to justify his existence as a special counsel. He's going to call it fairly. And, you know, that's what we as the American people should want, is someone in that position who's going to call it based on the facts and the law, and that's it. The notion that somehow this is something cooked up by a bunch of people with a political bent, I think you can see that with the indictments and the guilty pleas that have already happened in the Mueller investigation. That that there's some there, there. There's some there there. We don't know exactly what's there, mm -hmm. but there's some there there.